Everybody heading up and over in autonomous. Lion Robotics find their way over the moat. They've gotten stuck there before. Nice work to them. Three Blue Alliance robots through Skunk Works. No trouble at all. And Night Tech hung up on the rock wall. It'll be 30 to 22 for the Blue Alliance as the drivers step up to the controls. Night Tech may be more than just a little bit stuck as they are not yet moving. We'll see if they can sort that out. Lions and the Skunks are going to handle the scoring duties thus far. Lions find the low goal. Skunks going to try to find the high. No dice thus far. And those wheels spin up, but still no joy. We've seen this problem for them before. They'll turn around and go low the rest of the match. 2990 Hotwire finds the low goal for Blue. 2811 Stormbot's going to try to find the high goal once they get into position. Blue Lions currently with a 37 to 33 advantage. And everybody back working on the outer works. 2811 feeling good about their shot. Up and in and out. No dice. They'll recover and try again. Skunk works over the defenses. They'll drop another blue, another boulder in the blue tower. Two more points for the Red Alliance as the Lions try to follow suit. Coming back across the blue outer works. 2990 finds the low goal in the red tower. That makes it 46 to 40 in favor of the Blue Lions. Lions up and over the Cheval de Freeze. Night Tech moving yet again. Back right where they were though, stuck on the rock wall. They may be having bad luck with that defense. Might have to move on and try something else as we come up on a minute remaining. Deficit whittled to one. The Red Alliance on the backs of their low goal scoring. Neither Alliance breaching just yet. 24-11 looks like not operable in this match. Rebel Alliance will sit around and watch their Alliance partners try to carry them to victory. Blue Alliance now 61 to 52 as the Skunks and the Lions try to drop more boulders in the low goals for red. Hotwire trying to do the same for blue as we now have 40 seconds remaining in this match. Lions in a tough position. Night Tech blocking access to the rock wall. They badly need that defense in order to breach, but their Alliance partners are in the way. We'll see what they do to recover from that as we are now 30 seconds remaining. Hotwire finds the low goal lead again. It's extending the Blue Lions lead to 76 to 52. 20 seconds now remaining. Lions over the moat. Rockwall has been cleared by Night Tech. Skunks are going to see if they can take care of that twice. There's one. They've got 10 seconds remaining. Probably not going to be able to climb. Lions have lost their turret. Skunk works up and over. Three seconds, two and one. Hotwire launches a hook at the last second to try to scale the red tower. No joy for them. Skunkworks also not able to scale as they were working on a breach. But both alliances able to put the breach away in those last moments. We'll get the scores and see who gets the extra two ranking points right after this. No time at all wasted. Have every Nathan Lowe says our scores are good. And we'll put them up on the big screen and see that the victory in this match goes to the Blue Alliance. 86 to 62, your final tally. Hotwire moves into second position with the three ranking points the Blue Alliance gathers. One ranking point for Red, enough to help Skunkworks staying in number seven, back up to where